Welcome to the Daily History Podcast, where every episode is a time portal to the most fascinating events of our past. Today, we embark on a captivating journey to 79 AD, experiencing the unparalleled calamity that encased the ancient city of Pompeii in a tomb of volcanic ash. Unearth the secrets of this once thriving city with us as we delve into the heart of history's poignant reminders of nature's power. Get ready to be transported back in time on the catastrophe of Pompeii, unveiling the secrets of a buried city. Imagine a day like any other in the vibrant city of Pompeii, the 24th of August in the year 79 AD. Gentle breezes whisper through the streets, carrying the sounds and scents of a bustling Roman metropolis at the height of its glory. In this serene moment, none could foresee the impending disaster that would soon befall this flourishing community at the foot of Mount Vesuvius. But nature, in its cryptic language, began to give signs. Wells ran dry and the waters of the nearby river Sarno turned murky. The land, too, whispered its unease. Tremors gently shook the ground, so subtly that they went largely unnoticed by the Pompeians, who had grown accustomed to the Earth's occasional rumblings. A more astute observer, however, might have detected the foreboding in the air and the unusual behavior of animals, dogs howling, livestock restless, sensing something amiss beneath the Earth's surface. For weeks, these portents grew ever so slightly, a crescendo building toward an unknown climax. And then, on that fateful August day, the Earth beneath Vesuvius could no longer contain its fiery heart. A blast like a thousand thunderstorms heralded the mountain's awakening, sending a column of ash and gas miles into the sky. In Pompeii, merchants and mothers, soldiers and slaves, all cast their eyes upward in shared disbelief at the darkening sky, a sky that dawned an unnatural night and marked the beginning of one of history's most tragic natural disasters. The chill of fear settled into the hearts of the Pompeians as pumice and ash began to rain down upon them, cloaking the city in a growing shroud of gray. Buildings that had stood as testaments to Roman ingenuity now trembled, and the sea, that great source of riches and sustenance, ominously receded as if fleeing from the mountain's wrath. In the streets, chaos took the reins. Horses bolted, carts overturned, and the voices of a confused populace echoed off walls that would themselves soon bear witness to a calamity of unthinkable proportions. As families in their homes sat down to dine, unease turned to dread, and dread to desperate action. The ground shook violently now, a prelude to the far greater horror that loomed but moments away. In the amphitheater, the gladiator's swordplay was abandoned for a far graver survival game, and in the temples, prayers rose in a fevered pitch to the gods who seemed deaf to their pleas. Pompeii, the jewel of the empire, stood at the edge of oblivion, and even as the ash fell like a death shroud, Few could imagine the eternal silence it was destined to bring. It was the 24th of August in the year 79 AD, an ordinary summer's day near the Bay of Naples in ancient Italy. Unbeknownst to the thousands living in the shadow of Mount Vesuvius, that day would seal their fate in history. As morning turned to afternoon, Vesuvius, which many thought dormant, began to stir. Earthquakes, common in the region and often ignored, had increased in frequency. They were a prelude to an unimaginable terror. In a catastrophic explosion that would have registered as one of the most forceful in human history, Vesuvius roared to life, spewing forth a violent column of smoke and ash miles into the sky. The Roman populace, a civilization accustomed to marvels and might, now stood frozen, eyes cast upwards in disbelief as pumice and burning debris began to rain down upon Pompeii. Rooftops succumbed to the weight, streets once bustling with life were surrendered to chaos. Panic seized the agora as the people of Pompeii raced through the choking darkness, a once vibrant city, now a labyrinth of impending doom. The eruption of Vesuvius was not merely a discharge of ash and pumice, it was a cataclysmic event propelled by the underlying geology of the Campanian volcanic arc. The collision of the African and Eurasian tectonic plates had created a subduction zone, a perilous chasm where one plate was forced below another, fostering a magma chamber of immense pressure directly beneath Vesuvius. As this deadly spectacle continued into the night, pyroclastic surges, scorching avalanches of gas and volcanic debris, began to obliterate everything in their path. 
These flows were the true harbingers of annihilation, engulfing the city at hurricane speeds, carbonizing and casting every organic material, encapsulating Pompeii in an instantaneous and perpetual grasp. The few who managed to flee carried imprinted images of terror that would haunt generations. Wails of the trapped were soon silenced as the air turned poison and day turned to a darker night. The city was buried under a tomb of volcanic ash up to 20 feet deep, an entire Roman city wiped from the face of the earth. As dawn broke on the 25th of August, the landscape had transformed. What was once the flourishing city of Pompeii now lay still under the shroud of Vesuvius's wrath, suspended in time, a chilling monument to nature's unforgiving power. Centuries later, the excavation of this forsaken city would not only reveal the horror of that fateful day, but also the stories of the Pompeians, their lives, their loves, and the day the sky fell. Imagine walking along the cobbled streets of ancient Pompeii, the air ripe with the scents of sizzling street food and the distant Mediterranean Sea. The city is teeming with life. Traders shout from their market stalls adorned with vivid produce, silks, and exotic spices, while children dart between the flowing togas of busy citizens. It's the day before the catastrophic eruption in 79 AD, a snapshot in time resonating with the vitality of urban Roman life. Pompeii, flourishing at the foot of Mount Vesuvius, is a bustling hub for commerce and social encounters. Its strategic location near the port of the Bay of Naples ensures a continuous influx of goods and ideas, bolstering its economy and cultural vibrancy. The amphitheater roars with the cheers of spectators during gladiatorial games. The forum, the heart of political life, is alive with fervent debates and the hustle of civic engagements. Senators, merchants, and citizens mingle, discussing affairs of the day under the shadow of grandiose temples. The well-to-do Pompeians recline in their luxurious villas, surrounded by opulent frescoes and intricate mosaics, signifiers of their wealth and artistic appreciation. They indulge in gastronomic pleasures, feasting on delicacies such as dormish and garum, a sauce made from fermented fish that is a staple in Roman cuisine. Public baths are a testament to the city's social and hygienic infrastructure, where water heated by sophisticated engineering systems provides comfort and relaxation to its bathers. Step into the shoes of a Pompeian the day before the eruption, not knowing it would be their last. Vendors ready their stalls with products from faraway lands, anticipating the clamor of bargaining at sunrise. The aroma of fresh bread wafts from the bakeries as bakers pull loaves shaped like wreaths and stamped with their maker's seals from the ovens. In the vineyards surrounding the city, vintners proudly tend to their ripened grapes. The fruits of their knowledge pass through generations, brewing what would be their final batches of wine. At home, a family gathers around the table as the paterfamilias recites blessings to the household gods, and children listen intently to tales of heroes and myth. Artisans work their craft in workshops, etching fine details into jewelry or chiseling away at marble to add to the city's beauty. The laughter and songs of daily life crescendo as night falls, with oil lamps flickering in the evening ritual, casting a dance of shadows on walls that would soon bear witness to unimaginable terror. This thriving snapshot of Pompeii's last day embodies the confluence of domestic bliss, economic prosperity, and cultural richness that define the pinnacle of Roman civilization. It is a picture painted with the hues of life's mundane yet precious moments, unknowingly on the precipice of demise. The irony is profound, a city unaware of the silent giant looming over it, poised to freeze its existence in ash and pumice. And that concludes our exploration of Pompeii before the eruption, a city alive with energy and a poignant reminder of the delicate thread by which life hangs. Amid the grandeur and the simplicity, the anticipation and the routine, one cannot help but reflect on the fragility of life and how, in an instant, the course of history can be forever altered. As we peel away the layers of volcanic debris that have blanketed Pompeii for centuries, we find ourselves amidst one of the most groundbreaking archaeological excavations of our time. Recent discoveries have redefined what we know about this ill-fated city, offering us an unparalleled glimpse into Roman life two millennia ago. 
In one of the most revelatory finds, archaeologists unearthed an exquisitely preserved thermopolium, akin to a modern-day snack bar, complete with vibrant frescoes and jars still containing remnants of food. Uncovered in the Regio Feth section, this thermopolium, which dates back to 79 AD, throws light on the culinary preferences of the Pompeians, suggesting a society rich in gastronomic diversity. Another astonishing feat has been the use of advanced technologies, such as CT scans and 3D modeling, to decode the past. With these tools, analysts have brought forth into the modern day the exact postures and expressions of the victims at their time of death, a haunting embodiment of their final moments. The ash, acting as a time capsule, preserved not just bodies, but the intricate layers of Roman society. Not long ago, in 2020, researchers at the University of Valencia uncovered a room in a villa on the outskirts of the city that depicted a scene of two gladiators in combat. The intricacy of the mural suggests that the owner of the villa was a person of considerable wealth and possibly a fan of the gladiator games, a central aspect of Roman entertainment and political life. The permanence of Pompeii under ash did more than just conserve structures and bodies. It encapsulated everyday objects like cookware, jewelry, and even carbonized scrolls, which are being meticulously resurrected through painstaking conservation efforts. These artifacts open a dialogue between the past and present, illustrating the mundane yet meaningful existence the Pompeians led before they met their tragic demise. The city's layout, with its forum, amphitheater, and lavish baths, traces the narrative of a complex urban metropolis teeming with social and commercial activity. The amphitheater's presence, dating back to around 70 BC, suggests an early adoption of such grand structures in Roman colonies, preceding even the Colosseum in Rome. Perhaps most telling of the Roman way of life are the houses and villas, adorned with frescoes and mosaics. The House of the Fawn, for instance, built during the 2nd century BC, displays the famed Alexander Mosaic, believed to represent the Battle of Issus between Alexander the Great and Darius III. It is a priceless historical document, merging art and storytelling in a way that elucidates the Romans' appreciation for Hellenistic culture and their own imperial ambitions. Moreover, in the last few years, excavation teams mapping uncharted areas of the city have located a street of grand houses with balconies. These balconies, which would have once overlooked the bustling streets and conveyed the status of their owners, now offer us a literal platform to understand the architectural evolution and social stratification of Roman civic life. In closing, while the eruption of Mount Vesuvius was an incontestable catastrophe, it unwittingly performed an act of historical preservation. The meticulous uncovering of Pompeii's treasures reveals a society that thrived on culture, sophistication, and intricacy. With each artifact, fresco, and building unearthed, we piece together the vivid tapestry of Roman history, gaining profound insights into a civilization that continues to influence our modern world in countless ways. In the uncovered remnants of this city, frozen in time, we discover the delicate whispers of Pompeii's last moments. An excavation in the Villa of the Mysteries, just outside the city walls, unearthed a small wooden box, its contents revealing the mementos of a life once lived. Among them, a pair of delicate earrings shaped like pomegranates, a symbol of prosperity and rebirth. Could the owner have hoped for a new beginning, not knowing the end was near? And then, there's the house of the tragic poet. These walls, once resonating with recitals and discussions, stood silent as centuries passed by. The poignant mosaic at the entrance still proclaims Cave Canaan, Beware of the dog. Irony, indeed, as none could beware the true disaster at their doorstep. On a dresser inside, carbonized papyrus scrolls tell of a scholarly pursuit arrested by ash and pumice. What works of philosophy or poetry did they hold? What wisdom, forever entombed? In another part of the city, amidst the grandeur of the amphitheater, archaeologists stumbled upon a grisly testament to the eruption's wrath. Skeletons of those seeking shelter clutched coins for passage to the next life and now serve as a stark testament to the futility of wealth in the face of nature's ultimate power. Among them, the case of a young boy, no more than ten years old, huddled against the unforgiving tempest, clutching his dog's collar, both united in an everlasting embrace. Each artifact tells a personal story, a 
a fresco in the Casa de Castiamonti portrays a couple exchanging a tender look, depicted in vivid pigments that defy the erasure of time. Were they aware that their final moments would be immortalized in art, their love undiminished by disaster? Contrast this with our modern era of digital memoirs, our moments captured instantly, only to be forgotten in the relentless flow of time. Pompeii's frescoes endure, silent witnesses to the past's echoes in our lives today. Turning to a tale of survival, we recount the life of Pliny the Younger, witness to the calamity. From across the bay in Misenum, he chronicled the tragedy as Vesuvius's cloud ascended. His letters to historian Tacitus are invaluable assets, painting harrowing portraits of ash-choked skies and a sea receding as if defying nature itself. Pliny's uncle, Pliny the Elder, endeavored to rescue his friends from the disaster, perishing as he placed valor above his own safety, a testament to the enduring human spirit. Reflecting upon these tales, zeroing in on the human element, binds us across the millennia. The Pompeians we've come to know through ash-preserved tragedy were not so different from ourselves. They loved, worked, and hoped, their stories cemented in time, offering us an unshakable bond with our own humanity. As the dust settles on our historical odyssey, we arrive at a poignant juncture where we ponder the legacy of Pompeii. The city, frozen in time, is not merely an archaeological treasure trove, but a mirror reflecting the profound narratives that inform our modern world. In the excavated streets and petrified echoes of Pompeii's last moments, we glean a profound understanding of life's fleeting nature and the formidable strength of human will. The power of nature, as exhibited by the volcanic fury of Vesuvius, serves as a humbling reminder of our place within the Earth's dynamic systems. Pompeii, through its unexpected demise, teaches us that the vigor of life is matched only by the inevitable forces of nature's order. Yet, amidst such revelations, we witness human resilience. How, time and again, civilizations rise from the ashes to rebuild, learn, and flourish. The city's unearthing reveals not just the direful day of its downfall, but the vibrancy that characterized its existence and the persisting spirit that has transcended its catastrophe. The influence of Pompeii extends its reach into the realms of modern archaeology, setting benchmarks and pioneering techniques that revolutionize the field. When the archaeologists first excavated the ancient city, they encountered the astonishing preservation of structures, artifacts, and human forms encapsulated by volcanic ash. Commencing in the 18th century, the findings in Pompeii echoed across the centuries, bolstering scholarly endeavors to comprehend the grandeur of the Roman Empire. The first methodical excavations conducted by Giuseppe Fiorelli in the 1860s, including his pioneering use of plaster casting to capture the voids left by decomposed bodies, have left an indelible mark on how we excavate and preserve historical sites around the globe. Furthermore, Pompeii has imparted invaluable lessons on disaster preparedness and risk management. The city serves as a case study for volcanic risk assessment, motivating modern societies to develop advanced monitoring systems and evacuation strategies to circumvent or mitigate the impacts of natural disasters. Precedents set by the methods for preserving Pompeii are now utilized worldwide to conserve heritage in the face of both natural and human threats. As we wrap up this narrative tapestry, it is evident that Pompeii's legacy is not a tale ensnared by tragedy, but a narrative enshrined in the annals of history as a testimony to the triumph of knowledge and endurance over oblivion. The city, a didactic relic, continues to inform and inspire, ensuring that the story of Pompeii, with all its sagacity, is etched into the collective consciousness of each successive generation. Thus concludes our examination of Pompeii's enduring legacy. As we carry forward the insights garnered from its past, let us remember that through the study of history, we arm ourselves with the foresight to better face the future, guided by the silent yet eloquent teachings of a city that once was. We hope this journey through the clouded avenues of Pompeii has both enlightened and moved you. As we part ways with the echoes of history, we invite you to subscribe and become a timeless traveler with us on the Daily History Podcast. If the voices of Pompeii have stirred thoughts or questions, leave a comment below the YouTube video with your musings and episode suggestions. Remember, 
the suggestion with the most likes will receive special consideration for an upcoming episode. Thank you for joining us today, and may the lessons of the past continue to illuminate your path until we meet again.